What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more Series 13 content for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing another Trick Room team for Series 13, but this time featuring Deancey. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what Series 13 Pokemon you want me to showcase next. But let's get started here. Starting off in that top left corner with our first Pokemon for this team, we got Dusclops over here. Can't really have a Trick Room team without Dusclops. He is just a top tier Pokemon. He's got Frisk alongside with that Evo Light to make it a lot bulkier. Then it's got Nightshade, Trick Room, Pain Split, and will-o-wisp to burn physical attackers second pokemon is going to be right next to him and it is going to be the pokemon we are showcasing the ansi it is a rock and fairy type with clear body as ability such a good ability i love how all the mythical pokemon for series 13 have a really strong ability it's got mental herb as item so it can't be taunted it's rocking trick room itself alongside protect then it has play rough for stab and then its signature rock stab move diamond storm Middle left is going to be another great Pokemon that thrives in Trick Room. It is going to be Dialga over here. Dialga has pressure alongside with that weakness policy. You know, you guys know Dialga is already super strong, especially with that weakness policy in Dynamax. So cannot wait to get him out in the battle and get rocking with him. He's got Draco Meteor for stab, Flash Cannon for stab, Earth Power for coverage, and then he's rocking Protect for its fourth and final move. Fourth Pokemon is going to be our lonesome support Pokemon. We got Amoongus over here. Regenerator ability alongside with that Citrus Berry. Grass and Poison type. This Pokemon is always super, super strong, especially in Trick Room because at that point it just outspeeds everybody. And then it has Spore and it can legit just put everybody on the opposing team to sleep. It's kind of OP in Trick Room, not going to lie. It's got Sludge Bomb for stab, Pollen Puff for uh, coverage and healing ally Pokemon, Rage Power to protect ally Pokemon, and then it's got Spore. Like I said, probably the best move in Trick Room. Bottom left hand corner is going to be a one of the best Pokemon in Trick Room. Well, probably not now. I would say Magirna might be a little bit better, but still, Calyrex is incredibly strong in Trick Room. We're rocking with the Aswan ability alongside with that Life Orb to make it do a ton of more damage. We got Zen Headbutt for Stab, Protect, Glacial Lance, and High Horsepower. Pretty normal move set for Calyrex. It's super strong. He's pretty broken in the Trick Room. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Incineroar. Incineroar is just one of those Pokemon that works well on any single team. So we had an extra slot here, so we threw Incineroar we got Intimidate alongside with the Mago Berry, and then we got Fake Out, Fire Blitz, Throw Chop, and Parting Shot. Probably the best move set for any Incineroar. But guys, there's the team. If you want to rent it for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto our ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Series 13 Deancey team. First battle coming at you guys, we're going up against a really cool Sandstorm team. He's got the Tyranitar, he's got the Extra Dill combo, one of my favorite combos of all time. And then he's got Steelix, Heliowis, Sylveon, and Clefable here. Okay. How should I play this one? I definitely got to pop Trick Room. I'm thinking of leading like Amoongus alongside with Deancey. I feel like that can work really, really well. We could kind of just get rolling from there. But I might just lead both of them. But the Steel typing is kind of kind of looking a little whack for me. I don't really like the Steel typing out on the field. But still, I'm going to do it because I want to showcase Deancey and get that Pokemon rolling. And then we're going to have Dialga. And I think Calyrex worked really well in the back. Even though Incineroar could be nice, I just feel like if we could pop this Trick Room, we can really get thriving with it. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But two things before we actually start battle number one. First thing is, you guys, want, if you guys want to catch extra content from me, make sure you head down to the link in the description below. Jeans25 over on Twitch. We stream in three plus days every single week. Name is right below my face cam. Definitely go hit me up over there. If I'm live, chat it up. I would love to see you guys pop out there. And also, guys, the second thing I want to go over is question of the day. Do you guys think ranked battles are going to be good in series nine? Or not series nine, generation nine. Let me know in the comment section down below. But he's going to end up leading the Sandstorm combo. And I could just Rage Powder this shot. And I'm kind of leaning towards just Rage Powdering and going into a, uh, a Trick Room right here. I think I can get a lot of value out of it. So I think Rage Powder is going to be play. Rage Powder into Trick Room. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. We can take speed that way. We can save our Dynamax for a Calyrex. We might even Dynamax that. Uh, and he does not. I thought he was going to Dynamax that. Episode. Okay. So maybe he could be going for like a double Rock Slide. Swords Dance. We don't like that. Not like that. Not one bit. Not one bit. And the rock side comes through. If it flinches my Deancey, I'm gonna cry. I'm, I might just cry and like throw this monitor through the screen. Yeah, yeah, of course. It flinches the Deancey, and now we are in like the worst position possible. So now we have to do this again. Yep, monitor through the screen right now. I hate this game, dude. How do you, how do my opposing uh, opponents always get flinches on me? Every single time. Now we sword stance. He could drop an EQ, but he's uh, I don't think he is because he's gonna protect. Bro run coming in hot. It's fine. It's fine. Amoongus drops out here. Yancey, I need you to eat up a shot. Set. 
Need you to eat up a shot. Need you to eat up a shot. He's gonna Dragon Dance. That's totally fine with Poppin' Surfing. He's gonna Dragon Dance. Okay. I'm really cool with this because I might Dynamax the. I don't know. Do I Dynamax the Yancy? Don't want to do it because Trick Room's out and about. So not too bad. He has speed. His attack is boosted like crazy. He's plus two on extra. He's plus one on T-Tar. I could bring out you and get a defense boost and Dynamax him at the same time. Or I can bring out you. I think the is going to be a bit better here. But we still have a huge problem. It's just, it's just a big problem. Hmm. That's what I want to do here. Special attack's high. God dang. Your physical attack's high. <laughs> I'm going to go Calyrex. I think Calyrex is the option. It's a little bit better. So from here, I'm going to probably go into a play rough with the Ante and then Dynamax Calyrex. I think it's my best bet, right? I just think we have to do that. Especially up against his extra. I'm not trying to deal with it. If he Dynamax the extra, that could be scary, but I don't think he has a Moxie to Dynamax extra. I don't think he's about it. Which I could just do this. This would be a little bit better. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to play rough right in the team. Oh god, this is scary, man. As long as he doesn't Dynamax extra draw. If he does a Dynamax extra draw, I think we could be fine with that. But I'm super surprised. I am super surprised. Because he could have went into that drill run and then Dynamax that T-Tar instead of Dragon Dancing. And take out my Deancey with something. Could have been the plays. Could have been the plays. But let's see what he does. No Dynamax coming out from him. Cool. No Dynamax coming out from him. Play Rough is going to connect with Deancey. Deancey is going to do some big time damage. So we have health on T-Tar, I really do like that. And Max Quake, I think, should be able to take out Extra. Extra isn't that bulky. We can get Thriving from there, right? I do like it. Cool. All right, so Extra out of the building. Hopefully we can get the Ante for another turn because I want to go into like a Diamond Storm or something. I wonder who he's going to rock into. Get it, rock into because he, he has a rock book one. I'm just playing around. I'm just playing around. But Chilling Nate Boost is going to come out here. T-Tar is plus one on the attack board. I'm kind of scared of what he's going to hit me with. It's going to be a Rock Slide. It's going to be a Rock Slide. The Ante should be able to eat. Calyx is going to take a nice chunk of damage, and I'm cool with that turn. I don't mind it. I don't mind it, because I can get rid of T-Tar easily with another play rough if I wanted to, or it really depends who he throws out on that left slot. It really depends. And he's probably going to Dynamax whoever he throws out, and I think it's going to be like Steelix or something. It might be Steelix, or even Sylveon. I don't know, but we have the in the back end. I'm really liking this. We have plenty of turns left in Trick Room, and we are chilling a boost it on my, uh, on my Calyrex. I love it. I love Calyrex's little legs. Not the horse. I think Calyrex is the actual like Pokemon right in the back. And Spectre, or not Spectre, uh, Glacier is the horse right there. But look at Calyrex's little legs hanging off the side of the horse. <laughs> They're like little bug stick legs. Hilarious, with no feet. They're legit just like sticks. Like you can stick this dude in the ground, he won't move. He will not move. But I think it's hilarious. I think his design is sick too. Because he looks like another horse on a, on a horse. Right? His face on the back looks like a horse. Well, this guy's struggling. He doesn't know who to go into. Really struggling to pick a Pokemon while we're out over here talking about bug legs and stuff. But something I did this weekend is I drafted for both my fantasy football leagues. If you guys draft for fantasy football leagues, I kind of want to know who you guys picked up and how many uh, people are in your league in the comment section down below. But I did two 12 team PPRs and my first team was pretty good. Uh, I got Josh Allen. This was like for the bigger league. I got Josh Allen, Aaron Jones, Najee Harris, uh, Mike Evans, and like other solid players. But then my second league, which is a it's a cheaper money league, but still, it's a 12-team PPR. We ripped with that. We ripped with that team. It, it's a team that uh, is kind of based off of if they're going to be injured. I got Christian McCaffrey and Saquon Barkley as my two running backs. If they stay healthy, my team is going to win. And then we got Kyle Pitts as tight end, Lamar Jackson, Alan Lazard as wide receiver, and Cortland Sutton. Dude, right, that team's stacked. That team's stacked. That team is stacked if they stay healthy. They stay healthy. They're, they're just going to rip. They are just going to rip. Because Saquon and Christian McCaffrey are just workers. But again, if you guys do fantasy football, let me know your guys' teams in the comment section down below. But let's see. He went to the Sylveon. We ended up going to a Max Hailstorm and another play rough. But I think we should be fine. I think he might Dynamax the Sylveon. I think he might Dynamax the Sylveon. But this guy's taking a little bit of time to choose what he wants to do. And he's not going to Dynamax it. The play rough says bye bye to Yitar. Yancey's thriving out here. And this uh, Max Hailstorm should be able to take him out, right? Sounds really good. Plus one from the Chilean A boost last turn. Hellstorm comes out here. Let's go. Let's go. We get rid of Sylveon. He has one more Pokemon left. And again, it's over with. Even if he Dynamaxes it. Even if he Dynamaxes it, I still got turns. I can Diamond Storm. I can play rough. I'm plus two on the Calyrex. It's just over. Actually, the only Pokemon I feel like he can actually 
win with would be a Steelix, right? Steelix seems like it could do me a little dirty. Steelix is bulky on the defensive slot. He still has Dynamax. Please don't be Steelix. And Steelix is slow too. Please don't be Steelix. Anybody but Steelix. That's what I'm hoping for. Anybody but Steelix. Maybe like Helios could fly out here. I'm trying to think of what other Pokemon he had. He had the Steelix. He had the Helios. And what was the last one? I can't even think of the last Pokemon. I guess we're going to see. I guess we shall see. But the is so sick. Like, it looks like they just like saw these gems in the ground and pulled this rock out. Because like, it looks like it just got pulled out of the ground. But the Ancy, it's just so sick because his hair is just straight gemstones. Really cool Pokemon. I, I really do like his design. With the Rock and Fairy, I feel like just the, its design fits Rock and Fairy. Especially for a Legendary. Like a Legendary has got to be like the like the, the staple of that. So it's like Rock and Fairy and it just looks... It, I feel like it came out perfectly. It really did. But our opponent's taking a long time. I guess maybe uh, Connection's kind of bad on his end. Because he has one Pokemon left to choose from. It's taking a while. And it's going to be the Heliobus. So that's going to be GG's for us. Not worried about the Heliobus at all. I kind of want to see... Who went first? Uh, Deancey went first, right? I believe Deancey goes first. Because I want to I want to showcase uh, Diamond Sword. Diamond Sword such a cool move. 78. Deancey's really slow. Really, really slow. I'm just going to drop another Hailstorm. And then I'm just going to drop a Diamond Sword. Because Diamond Sword's such a cool move. It's stab. It, I think it hits both Pokemon. And then it has a chance to boost your defense. Which is really cool. So you can make this Pokemon really bulky with some RNG. It's like a 50% chance to boost it. And I think it, it might be by two stages. I'm not 100% sure. I really am not. He's not even going to Dynamax. Diamond Storm's going to come out here. And look how cool this move looks. Look at that move. Look how sick that looks. It looks so sick. We bring this thing down to a free focus. Ash Max Hailstorm comes out here. That's genius. But yeah, dude, that move is so sick. I absolutely love it. We didn't get the defense boost. But sometimes you get it. And then you just make your DNC super, super big. Second battle coming at you guys. We're going up against another really cool team over here. This guy is rocking Eternatus and Salmazetta for two restricted Pokemon. And he's got Lucario, Noivern, Ninetales, and Sylv Valley. Really cool team. Really, really cool team. Uh, definitely got to set up Trick Room again because, you know, this team thrives on Trick Room. So I'm just going to go uh, Incineroar into Deancey. Incineroar, Deancey, we can fake out turn one if we have to. Really, really strong. We can pop a Trick Room pretty easily up against a few of these guys. And then I can just bring Calyrex in the back end of Dialga. Really can't go wrong with this team. We really cannot go wrong with this team. I feel like it works super, super well, especially once you get off that Trick Room. And looking at our opponent's Pokemon, I feel like Trick Room is going to be rather easy. Just I could have made it easier for us by going into like a Moongus, but it'd be like that. It'd be like that. I want to get out in Sinor because we just used a Moongus and Deancey in the last battle. But a Moongus and Deancey is probably like the prime setup here. Or you can go like a Moongus and Dusclops. Dusclops can set it up really well, but a Moongus and Deancey is really, really good because if he has like a fake out Mon, you can force the fake out into Deancey by protecting and then uh, have a Moongus Spore and then Rage Powder the next shot. So uh, that's what I really like to do, especially when he goes into like double hitting Pokemon. Like uh let's say Kai Ogre. Let's say Kai Ogre or Calyx. We know Deancey can't really eat up those shots. So we protect Deancey, we spore the Pokemon, then uh Amoongus is able to eat up and then we rage power the next shot and then He's gonna go with Zamazetta and Eternatus. And none of these Pokemon can trick him. None of these Pokemon can trick him. Or not trick him, Dynamax. So we get a free fake out, and I'm gonna fake out onto the Zamazetta. I think Zamazetta needs to get the fake out onto him. And then we kind of roll from there. But Intimidate's going to come out here, drop an attack on him. Physical attack on Zamazetta. He turned into special attacking, but I feel like this turn all day. So I'm just going to fake out here. A little fake out action. Nope, and then just pop a trick room. Then just pop a lovely little trick room. A beautiful, lovely little trick room. I wonder what he's going to go into. I feel like a Behemoth Bash is going to go into my Deancey slot. That's what it That'd be like four times super effective, so I do have to watch out for that. I do have to watch out for that. And I could protect the NC next turn if I want to. We have options here. We have options here. But hopefully you guys are enjoying my pink water bottle. My other one broke. So I saw this one in my cabinet. I was like, rock with pink today. It's all good. It is 2022. We can do what we want. <laughs> but let's see what this guy ends up doing. We have a lot of pressure on him with this fake out. So I think I was going to come through here. I, again, I think he was going to go for a Behemoth Bash into my Deancey. And this thing is just going to pop an E. Oh. 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 Oh my god. Stranger Things move right here. <laughs> Eterna Beam. Into who? Into my Incineroar. Wow. Really cool move. I like that move. <laughs> I like that move a lot. So we're going to pop a Trick Room. Um, I could Parting Shot here. I'm kind of leaning towards... 
That move's scary. But oh, I could just flare blitz. I'm thinking of just party shotting here. Protecting. I'm just gonna go party shot. I am just gonna protect the Deancey. I'm gonna get out my next Pokemon. Again, Behemoth Bash is just too much damage on Deancey. So I'm just gonna protect it. Eternal Beam looks so cool, dude. Looks so cool. I haven't seen it move in a while. Party shot's gonna come out here. We're sending it, and we're gonna swap into Cali. Cali or Dialga? Who shall I do? The Cali. Dynamax Cal again, kind of get rolling from there. It's looking good. Or I can get a special attack out. Which I like a tad bit more. A special attack out onto uh, Zamazetta. I do like that. So we're going to go there. I might just uh, Dynamax Dialga after this. And roll from there. It turns as much recharge and a flash cannon was coming in here. A flash cannon instead of a behemoth bash. Okay, that works. So protect worked perfectly. I can now Dynamax. Um. I think we could just quake this thing and get rid of it, right? I think it's looking really good. And I could Diamond Storm on top of that. Or I could play rough. I think Diamond Storm's going to be cool. Because I want to try to get this defense boost. This defense boost could work rather wonderful. So I'm going to Dynamax here. Let's do it. So the anti Dialga out on the field. We have plenty of Trick Room turns. I think we'll have three for this whole Dynamax. And then we'll kind of roll from there. And we also have Incineroar in the back end if we got a fake out. And then we have Calyrex to set up another Trick Room. Actually, I don't think this Calyrex has Trick Room, does it? Zen Headbutt. Glacial Lance, Protect, and Wake Move. Yeah, it does not have Trick Room. Okay, so Deancey's my only Pokemon that can set up a Trick Room. Diamond Storm's coming out here. Look at this move. Look, it's so sick. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a Defense Boost here. Defense Boost? Defense Boost? Let's go. We get the Defense Boost. Razor Strike, really cool. We're going to be able to drop this Quake. I don't know if Quake can actually KO here. Probably not. It's coverage. But we'll see. We'll hope. Almost does. Another Diamond Storm can KO that. So, we like that turn. I don't mind that turn. Super effective shot. We get that special Defense Boost. And Deancey should be able to soak up whatever he has to offer. Flash Cannon, right? Turn Beam coming out here. Soak. Nice. Flash Cannon coming back out here. And I think it's four times super effective, but we're plus one on defense. He's minus two on attack. And yeah, yo, Deancey bulking up. Beefing up. Actually, that's a special defense move. Or special attacking move. I'm with it all day. So from here, I'm going to go here. And actually, I'd rather get a special defense boost. I get more value out of that. And then another Diamond Storm. But I want to see, did that plus one? It plus two our defense. Oh my god, Deancey. You are incredibly strong. You are incredibly strong. I think that this uh, Diamond Storm should be able to take out Zamazetta, right? It might be cutting it close, but I I'm going to hope that we get a high roll on it. No, not even close. Did we get a defense boost again? <laughs> we are plus four. We are plus four. We're going to say bye-bye to Eternatus. We are chilling here. We're plus four, which is ridiculous. We are plus four. Dude, Deancey crazy with RNG. Crazy with RNG. Hopefully he brings out a physical attacker and I can just bulk. Because now Deancey is an absolute bulk. Plus two on special defense, plus four on regular defense. It's insane. Another flash cannon coming out here. Yeah, we're going to be able to eat something. No problem. You're soaking. I wish I had like leftovers or something. Or a way to get some HP back. If I had a Moongus, I could just like... But yeah, another... Do we think Diamond Storm can KO it now? Because I really want to go into another one. Or I could just play rough it and finish it off. But he's going to end up rolling into nine tails here. I'm not worried about that one bit. Oh, I could just quake it and finish it off. I'm just going to quake. Or I can rely on Diamond Storm to finish it off. We think Diamond Storm can do enough damage? See, that's the thing. I don't think Diamond Storm can do enough damage to that, uh, to the Zamazetta. It's kind of close, so I'd rather just play rough and finish that off this, this way. So he's going to end up Dynamax and Ninetales. Ninetales is a special attacker. I don't really see it doing big damage after this third special defense boost from Quake. But I think we're thriving here. I think this battle's in the bag. And we get to showcase Deancey and the out in this battle. Solid battle for us. Really solid battle for us. The defense boost went crazy. Diamond Storm Deancey. OP. Play rough coming out here. It connects. Thank you. And we get rid of Zamazetta. No problem. The Zamazetta gone. We might even be able to take out this uh, Nine Tails on one shot here. And even if we don't, I think it flares into my Dialga and procs my weakness policy. Because Dialga's not dying to it. Wait, comes out here. And it does survive. It does survive. But I can Diamond Storm next turn. But I think Trick Room might be over. Let's see what he does. He's proc my policy. I think he is going to proc my policy with a flare. A lovely little flare. Yep, flare comes out here. Proc on my policy. No, he's going into the ante. You should be able to soak that the ante. Oh my god, what'd that do? Nine damage? Nine damage? That's embarrassing. That was embarrassing. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself with that. Trick room's gone. I think I can pop another one, right? Or I could just stay in here and pop a diamond sword. Again, he's not really going to do a lot of damage to me. 
So Valley's gonna come out here for final Pokemon. We are insanely bulked right now. I think we just pop a Diamond Storm and we go into an Earth Power, right? Good job, Draco Meteor. Yeah, I'm trying Diamond Storm here. It's my play. It's my play. I don't think he has enough enough damage to take us out with how much we're bulked. He's gonna multi attack. And who? We're gonna be able to eat that. Never mind. We're not gonna be able to eat that. What, what typing is multi? Is that steel? I thought it was normal. Never mind. I thought we were gonna be able to eat that. Okay, never mind. So Flyer's gonna fly out here. Let's go proc policy. Let's go proc policy. We should be able to soak pretty well here. Actually, again, I keep forgetting that this thing's dragon typing and not just straight up steel. I thought it was gonna proc policy. <laughs> but Earth Power comes out here. Big time damage. Uh, I think we're fine here. Cinderor can come out here. I could fake out the Nine Tails if I wanted to. I could just fake out the. What do I do? What do I even do here? Fake out the uh, Sil Valley, or do I take out the Nine Tails with a fake out? As we get the attack drop, I think we're chilling here fine. I think this battle's pretty much over. I think I might not even be able to take out Nine Tails. So from here, I'm just gonna go into an Earth Power, get rid of the Nine Tails, and just fake out the Sil Valley. Easy play, right? Easy, easy play. But I thought multi attack was normal. I really did. I was just like, okay, I could soak it up all day, and drop a Diamond Sword, but. Yancey goes down and we almost get the sweep. We almost get the sweep. If I knew this thing was gonna rock into a steel move, I probably did something else, but all good. It's all good. What is that fighting? I don't even know what, what typing that move is. I don't see it too often. But fake out pokes out here. That's fine. This thing flinches, he's gonna go next. He's gonna go for another flare. Which is just the easiest soak ever, because we're plus three. And then Earth Power is gonna finish him off. And it's game over. It's game set and match. I'm surprised this guy didn't cancel it. I'm surprised he has not canceled a battle yet because we are just ripping into it. The truck room with Deancey, once you set it up, you get out either Calyrex or Dialga. Usually, I like the Dynamax either Calyrex or Dialga. You kind of just roll off from there. We're just going to Earth Power one more time alongside with the Flare Blitz. And that's going to be game. I think it cancels. This is not canceled. He said he, he's got Draco Meter? Dang, that actually might KO me. Is that Draco Meter? Does not. We outbulked that like crazy. We all bulked out like crazy, does like no damage because it's not stabbed. And then we pop our berry right in his face. We say, hey yo, you thought you were coming close to killing us? Nah, we back up in the green. We pop the berry in her face, Diago's gonna drop an earth power. There it is, guys, 2 0. Let's hop to a third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. We're going up against a bunch of off meta teams in today's video. He is rocking out with Grimmsnarl, Arcanine, Quagsire, Clefable, Gengar, and then Urshfu. He has no restricted Pokemon, which makes me feel like I shouldn't really bring too many restricted Pokemon, but I have to consider I have three. And we're going to bring Deancey again. I'm going to pop the trick room with Deancey. It is the best play. I'm going to go Deancey. Do I go Amoongus here? I could go Amoongus Deancey. Or I can go with like Duskops or something like that. Duskops isn't too bad, but I kind of lean towards Amoongus here. Let's go Amoongus Deancey. Let's bring Instant Roar. I don't want to double up with my uh, restricted Pokemon. And then last but not least, I think Calyrex. You know, let's just roll out that way. Let's just roll out that way. I could have had some fun with it and brought Dust Cops and see what I could do with that, but that would be an awful team comp. Dust Cops, Amoongus, and Cinnamon and Deancey. I feel like we have no damage whatsoever, but it would have been fun. It would have been fun. I would have probably Dynamax either Deancey or Incineroar. Roll out from there, but I'm going to bring in this Calyrex. Just try to grab ourselves a perfect record for today's game. Let's see what he ends up leading. He's going to end up leading. Bum ba da bum. Arky Arc alongside with Grimmy Grim. Uh, I don't mind it. Uh, I could Rage Power the shot, Papa Trick Grim, just to sacrifice my Amoongus. Intimidate's gonna come out here. We have clear body. I do have diamonds so from do some big damage onto him. So I'm kind of liking this. Just easy trick room setup, right? And then into I do have sludge bomb, which into rage powder. If a Moogus goes down, a Moogus goes down here. But I think he might honestly just Dynamax Arcanine right off the rip. And flare. And flare onto me. Which would be upsetting. Which would definitely be upsetting. This guy's thinking. This guy's thinking. He probably does have fake out with Grimmsnarl. Could do me dirty. Fake out would do me dirty. Definitely set him up for a big chance to win this battle. But I might even Dynamax the Ancy this battle. Have some fun with it, right? I think I might. Instead of just going in Diamond Storms, even though Diamond Storms rock. He does have fake out. How dare you? Ruins my it ruins everything. It ruins everything. You ruin everything. He ruins everything. Boy, but it's probably coming out here. Burn up instead. Okay. Can we eat that king? Eat that Amoongus? You simply cannot. You simply get absolutely ripped on. Because he gets a critical hit. That hurts. I was going to say, Amoongus might be able to eat that up, but that hurts. That hurts soul. He burned himself out. The anti flinches, and I think I should go into Calyrex. Or I can just go into, no. I'm just going to go into Incineroar. Fake out the, uh, 
easily pick out the Arcanine, right? I can pick out Grimstar Knowledge. What's Arcanine really going to do here? What is Arcanine really going to do here? Picking out the Grimstar is probably the play, right? Set up the Trick Grim account and we'll go from there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Faking out the Grimstar is 100% the play. Come here, Grimstar. Just not dealing with the Grimstar. He might have Taunt. He might have something cool. But Incin or not Incineroar. Arcanine, really. I don't think he can do too much. He burned itself out. It's intimidated. I just think we're thriving. I think we're thriving with that. So I was going to bring out Calyrex and just protect one of them and pop the Trick Room with the ANC. But I this is just a simpler play. So Fake Out's going to come out here. We flinch him. He's going to go for a Snarl. That's totally fine. I am a physical attacking Deancey, and that does nothing to me. And now I'm going to Dynamax, and I'm going to drop a rock right in your mitt for doing that. That's what he gets. That's what he gets. So, do I eat? Wait, do I do I Dynamax? Or I can go for the defense boost. I don't like the defense boost. Oh, he's not fire anymore. That's it. Play rough right into your teammate. And since you're not fire anymore, it means I can drop a flare. What's new? Actually, no. We're still going for the defense boost. We're here to have some fun. We're here to have some fun. We're dropping this. And I'm doubling down on Grimstar. There you get rid of your fire typing. Now I cannot drop a rock on you. That's upsetting. That is very upsetting. <laughs> Are you not making the plays though? He's making the plays. But yeah, I'm really looking for a big time defense boost here. I feel like that can benefit me so much with the anti. Especially if I want to Dynamax it. If I can get a defense boost right here, right now, I can Dynamax next turn. Being plus two, and we can kind of just get in for the battle that way. But he's going to end up with strong. Who are you going into? So I'm dropping a rock right in this minute. The Fable. Fable Fable's coming out of here. Thunder Wave coming out of here. You cannot do that onto my Incineroar. Thank you very much. Diamond Storm coming out of here. Can I get that defense boost? I pay a damage. Give me that defense boost. Let's go. Plus two in defense. It's a beautiful sight. It is a beautiful sight. Fire Blitz comes out of here. Bob, take him out, please. You do not. I could protect the Ancy and go into another one. He's going to Thunder Wave me. It kind of hurts soul. You know, I'm just going to party shot here on the Fable. Should have Dynamax, uh, what's it called? The Ancy here, but I think we're fine. I think we are fine. I'm going to party shot because I think Diamond Storm can do enough damage to him. So I'll take him out. Let's going to chip up some damage on the Fable. I actually could have uh, Fire Blitz into it and picked up the double kill, but I think Parting Shot with this Trick Room kind of running low is a play, so I can get a Calyrex and kind of just start Glacial Lancing. Just makes the most sense, right? Definitely makes the most sense. He's going to protect the Fable. I'm cool with that. Actually, not really, because now I can't Parting Shot. Then Light Screen. Ooh, Light Screen play. Good thing I have all physical attackers left. Good thing I have all physical attackers. I know Diamond Storm looks like a special attack move, but it is physical. It's really weird. Diamond Storm comes out here. We're going to say bye-bye to Grimstar. Right, that was a waste of a turn. Oh, are you kidding me? What is that? What is that? It's ugly. That's ugly. That's what it is. You know, that's it. I'm taking you out. See you later, Fable. I'm not playing games anymore. I'm not playing games anymore. Please don't set up a Reflect. Do not get off a of Reflect now. Do not. I repeat, do not get off a of Reflect. This thing gets off a of Reflect because it lives for a free Focus Dash. This game's rigged. This game's rigged. And I just bumped my elbow on the desk. You guys probably heard that. Kind of hurt a little bit. He sets up a Reflect. God dang. Man. Stupid Grimstarl. Stupid Grimstarl. Diamond Storm's going to come out here. The Fable's probably going to be able to survive now. But we do take out Grimstarl. Oh, wait. We get a crit. We get a crit. We love it. We love it. We get a crit on Fable. Give me Defense Boost, too. Give me Defense Boost, too. That's what he gets for living on Free Focus Ash. We get a crit there. So that's a big time crit. Player Blitz is going to finish this thing off. It is now a 2v3. I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room. And I don't know what I want to do here. I don't know what I want to do here. I might Dynamax the Ancy. It really depends. Again, he has Reflect out here. Reflect and Light Screen is going to do a sturdy. Oh, just Reflect because, again, all physical attackers. He's going to end up throwing out Arcanine. It's back to Fire type, which I don't mind. I can Diamond Storm do some big damage with that. And then he's going to throw out Gengar, who has... That's going to be his Dynamax Pokemon, right? I think I'm going to party shot into Gengar. Try to get that. Then just Diamond Storm across the board. I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room. Yeah, one more turn left in Trick Room. I'm just going to party shot into the Gar. Into the Gar. Still have Dynamax here. Right now. I think, again, I think he Dynamaxes the Gengar. And with a party shot coming out before that, that could be really good. We could swap right into the what's it called? Galarex, and we kind of go from there. And then on top of that, we get off in another Intimidate when we come back into battle. And another fake out. So we'll see. Here's Dynamax. Again, it's got to be that Gengar. Show me the Gengar so I can party shot straight into it. 
Could be a G Max Gengar. G Max Gengar is sick looking. It is a G Max Gengar. Yeah, hey, look at this thing, yo. Looks so sick. Looks so sick. I love it. I love it. So the Ancy's probably gonna, the Ancy should go first. Diamond Storm's coming out here. How much damage are we doing to that Arcanine? Decent amount of damage. Give me that defense boost. Yeah, <laughs> plus four, baby. Plus four, but you know this guy over here is a uh, is a special attacker. Gengar's special attacker. This Arcanine's physical. But we'll drop a special attack. So that's a big play for us. We are going to straight swap into our lovely little Calyrex. I wish I still had a Moongus at this point. I would have swapped into him. And then just Rage Powder next shot. Set up another Trick Room. That's a long battle. We're we are taking it slow here. We're taking it slow with the Ancy. We're taking it slow with him. I know we're going to come out here. And what, what moves are they going to pop? He's going to Snarl me. He's going to Snarl physical attackers. Again, I forgot the, the reflex out. That didn't look like a lot of damage at the Diamond Storm should have done. You can go into a G-Max Terror. You can eat this up the Ancy. All day. All day. All day. Eat that up. Such a cool move. We can no longer escape. That's totally fine. Uh, I think we just do this. Trick Room into a Protect. And then we kind of just win the battle, right? Because he's got to be going after Calyrex, right? He's got Fire. He's got the Ghost. He's got a lot of different things he can kind of do up against me. So by protecting them, I think we just, I think we just eat up the shots, right? I think he's going to either double down into me, and I don't think he can take out the Ancy. Because the Ancy just showed it could choke up the Terror. Arcanine can do no damage all to that thing, because we're plus four on defense. So by protecting this, pop and chicken, we'll take speed back. I don't even think we're going to have the Dynamax. And we'll kind of just Glacial Lance and kind of get after the battle, right? Makes the most sense. It does make the most sense. So let's see what he does. Protect comes out from our lovely little horse. And he's going to go into what? G-Max Terror into the horse. Yep, into the horse. Love that. Look at that. We soaked that up nicely. And I think he's going to double down into it. We double down into the horse. Yeah, look at that. Yo, big time Protect reads. Going to win us the game there. And Trick Room is back on our side. So I can Dynamax easily. I might drop a rock right into this. Right into this arc and I just finish it off. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to Dynamax Deancey to win this game and finish today's video. And then I'm just going to send Headbutt across onto this. We're just going to do that. So solid, solid battles from us. Solid battles, great plays from us. Read and protects. Playing this one slow. We probably could have won this battle super easily if we would have just like, you know, Dynamax Calyrex. Right off the rip. Because I could have went into, I could have definitely just went into like Calyrex Deancey, protect Calyrex, pop the Trick Room. Dynamax guy looking pretty much to sweep the battle. But I want to play it slow with the Ancy and kind of showcase his Pokemon a little bit more. I'm actually glad we did this one. Plus, the video is a little bit longer. I know you guys like the extra content. We're going to drop a Rockfall here. This might not KO due to the Reflect, but still, it does a huge amount of damage. We set Weather. I can glitch the Lance next turn, and then Zen Headbutt's going to come across here. Look at the Ancy. The Ancy's looking spiffy. Plus four on defense. Insane. Zen Headbutt's going to come out here. You dodge that? What do you mean? Burn Up's going to come out here. That's probably going to finish me off. That's a little ridiculous, but it happens. Oh, no, we soak, but Buffets are going to KO us. I think Buffets will do about 11, right? Might do 10 or 11. We'll see. G-Max Terror, or he just does that. So the G-Max Terror is one more time. I really don't mind. I have Incineroar in the back end. And what's called? turns are over. Oh, you have a Berry. Unnerve. Gone. Unnerve's gone. I could drop another rock into that thing if I wanted to. I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to finish that off. Then go into a throw chop. My Intimidation can come out here again. My Incineroar still has the magnet. Game over. It's game set match. But yo, Reflect definitely helping him out tremendously. That lovely Reflect. But yeah, his G-Max turns are gone. Which is great. So he's not going to be able to soak too well here. But the, again, the Reflect definitely doing us a little dirty. Reflect's helping him out tremendously. And then Gengar comes back to his standard self. And he's doing that cool little wiggle that he does. Which is hilarious. Actually, will this KO? I think Rockfall should. He's not he's not what's called anymore. He's not fire type anymore. He just burned up. We go into the Rockfall. Hopefully it's KOs. I really don't feel like dealing with this thing anymore. And it does. Thank you, Deancy. Thank you, Deancy. I love you. I love you. So that picks up the KO. Throat chop. I don't think it's gonna be able to pick up the KO, but still should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Or it might even KO, let's see. It does. Yeah, Gengar is just a glass cannon. It's just a glass cannon. Cannot take hits too well, even through the reflect. But there it is, guys. A perfect record with this DAC trick room team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our fourth Series 13 video and our fourth winning record.
for series 13 this one was a perfect record we absolutely dominated with the antsy and the trick room i just feel like the trick room squads are just so overpowering in series 13 they're just really strong they got great pokemon on it and they just steamroll teams left and right but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spend some positive day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody